Well, here goes. My name's Larry, and I've been awakened for a few months. And I'm just, you know, I've, I've had a full life. I've done a lot of good. I've done a lot of crazy. I've seen a lot of things. Joined the military when I was young. Been in 10 countries. 26 states, I think. I would like to see more. <laughs> but uh, I want to start this YouTube channel. And Larry L. G. Young 3 is what it is. Just, uh, you would know if you're here. But uh, I've been studying the Bible. I was raised in a Christian family. When I was young, we went to church. I got saved at a very young age, three or four. I remember the Spirit of the Lord getting hold of me when I was like four, walking down the aisle of White Oak Chapel Church. I mean, them guys, they, they used to preach Jesus and Jesus and repentance and Jesus. And, you know, they don't do that no more. They preach uh, prosperity and they preach how serving God is a, a lovely thing and you'll be blessed and butterflies and happiness and the unicorns are in the Bible now. Yeah, the Mandela effect. Anyway. I digress, but uh, I was saved at a young age. Now, I uh, didn't have any understanding because my fathers and my grandfathers have not been taught correctly. They really don't understand. It's not their fault. We, we're living in a world that the devil has planned out. And see, when you go to studying all this, you know, I'm hard to follow, I know, because, ah, my brain, my brain. But the devil's been planning this deceivious plan to deceive man since he's tricked Eve in the garden. And he's been working this for a long time. And I mean, the early Christians know there was a flat. About 500 years ago or so, men deceived us. And I could go into NASA and fake moon landing, and I've studied all that out, and we did not go to the moon. You can't land on the moon. It's plasma. It's There's no way. And if, if, if we had went to the moon, I mean, 50 years ago, why ain't we been back? If we'd went to the moon, there'd be McDonald's on the moon. I mean, there'd be a... There'd be a cash machine on the moon, you know, McDonald's and and it's no. Instead, they're like, we can't go to the moon, but we're going to go to Mars. All my life, they said Mars was in, it's just in and happened. Uh, molten, just wasteland. So, I don't know. If you study NASA out, and you, just like when my buddy told me the Earth is flat, and I'm like, no way. It got me studying, and I studied NASA, and I tried to look at all this, and everything NASA puts out is cartoon stuff. It's CGI. It's man-made. They don't have a they don't have a picture of the earth from the the station. What do they call it? The ISS? International Space Station? Mm-hmm. You'd think they'd have a 24 live camera on the earth. They take pictures, but most of the pictures, they forget to put the satellites, the fake satellites in it. So that don't work. I don't know. Just when you study it out, it's it's great if you got any brains at all. But most people's opiate sensors have been destroyed. Their neurological connections have been destroyed by drugs. Pharma, pharmaceutical drugs is killing people, and they're spraying spraying chemicals in the air that is killing us. The food is killing us. It's our water's full of fluoride. I search fluoride. Do you know what fluoride is? It's a byproduct when they make aluminum. It's it's deadly to the human body. Why? Who in the world said, hey, let's give the kids fluoride? Oh, what a brilliant idea. I just don't understand men. And, well, I read my Bible, and the root of all evil is money. People got to figure out how to make what they got make money. And the devil, the Bible says he's a deceiver. The Bible says that God be true and every man a liar. And the devil has tricked us. I mean, he's tricked most people into thinking. And when I say the devil, 
you got to understand there's a whole there's a whole church that follows Satan. There's Satanism, Masonic lives, just on and on and on. The elites worship Satan. That's their God. I mean, I I worship the Lord Jesus Christ, and I am born again by the blood of Jesus Christ, and I asked him to, to forgive me every day and night because everything good I would do is just a filthy rag in his eyes because, man, every man has fallen short. But these guys that are making the decisions about your life and what you breathe and what you eat and what your future is going to be, they openly and want the devil. I mean, I have to fight the devil. I got demons that I'm dealing with, and I don't want them. Imagine how it would be if you wanted them, and you're like, yes. Just like if you want to punch in something cool, punch in they sold their soul for rock and roll. It'll explain a lot about the music industry, because Lucifer was a, he was a musical instrument. He knows music. He knows notes. He knows it all, how to get you. I mean, like, ACDC music always made me drive fast when I was a kid. I mean, I hit a deer running 120 mile an hour listening to Highway to Hell when I was 17 years old. I mean, as soon as that song come on, that old 77 Thunderbird just boo the way we went. But that's just how it is. The devil knows how to work it. He's not stupid. Our adversary is highly intelligent. God is way more powerful, and the devil can only do what God allows him to do. But people need to wake up. We are living in the end times. And I know I'm all over the map. This is my first video, but I just kind of wanted to put out a feel. I pastored a church when my kids were little. My kids are 20s. When they were babies, I pastored a church. When they were babies, I laid them on the altar as soon as I brought them home from the hospital. And I'm like, Lord, I do not know what I'm doing. I'm giving these babies back to you. You teach me how to do it. And so far, so good. My kids are awesome. But I've messed up a lot of other things in my life. Don't get me wrong. I'm not perfect. I'm not ever going to say I'm perfect. But I kind of know a lot of truth. The Lord's coming back pretty soon. 5G will absolutely fry your brains. People don't even know. They're spraying the skies with chemicals, just blocking out the sun because hell is enlarging itself. I mean, the Antarctica is melting because of lava and volcanic activity because my Bible tells me we're not going to get flooded this next time. It's going to be fire. And the fire is already ramping up, folks. And that's why these elites are spraying the skies with chemicals to block the sun out. Plus, I believe they'll be able to project a 3D image in the sky and fake y'all into believing that aliens are coming back. When, in fact, it's the Nephilim from the Bible which Christians don't have a clue about the giants. As in the days of Noah, most Christians don't have a clue what that means. It is amazing when you go to research them. I, I would, if anything I could do, it would be to spark something in you that would be like, oh, I need to know. And you need to be, You need to know what's going on, but most people don't. And I've only been at this six months. I mean, I've been studying the Bible for 25 years. When I had my first, when I found out I was pregnant with my little girl, that was it. I quit drinking, smoking, everything for a year. <laughs> but I, I mean, I started smoking cigarettes again after a year. You know what I mean? I did quit drinking. Then. I didn't drink for 10 years. I did not drink a beer when I had my babies. I can't say so much here lately, but I'm getting better. But let me tell you this. When I had my babies, I said, Lord, 
I got someone that means more to me than me. And I want to do the right thing. So I tried. I studied. That was my point. Yeah, sorry. When I had my babies, it caused me to study. We went into a church, and them guys preached Jesus, and you got to be saved. But they didn't really understand the Bible at all, whatsoever. They sung songs that I, I told my wife, I'm like, I can't sing that song because it, it don't line up with the word. And I got to reading the word for myself. And these old preachers, when they preached, I was like, that ain't what it says. No, that don't line up with what Jeremiah said. You, wait a minute. And it made me study. Oh, it brought it. It made me just study, 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 study. I got books. I watch TV. I, I did everything. And I, I know the Bible. I'm not bragging. I don't know verses and that. I can't say, yeah, it's in 14. Some of them, but no. But if you start reading the scripture, generally I can finish it. Because I read it. I got it on cassette. I mean, I'm that old. I had a whole thing of cassettes and a Walkman and I was building cabins by myself and I would put that on six o'clock in the morning and listen to it till six o'clock at night. Just repeat, flip, repeat, put new batteries, flip. I listened to the Luke about Jesus dying on the cross so many times one day. I fell down and wept. I seen the white cloud of the Holy Spirit that day. And it was so amazing. Back in, I, I've laid my hands on a guy, and he come back to life. Oh, I mean, God is so real, and and we need his spirit. But, hmm. Well, this is my first video, and I'm just all over the place. But, hey, I'm a carpenter. I've built numerous houses. I've been iron worker. I run equipment, welding, concrete. I've been a pastor. I've taught Sunday school. I was a youth pastor. We did voc vacation Bible schools. I've, I've uh, worked in a printing place. I've, I was a Navy sailor, a boiler technician. Been all over this. I've been a bum. I spent a year picking up pop cans and just finding what I could to eat and just a bum. I've did that. I've, uh, I've lost everything I have about four times. I've come back from having nothing four times. And this last time has been great, but I don't really care about stuff for money. I never have. And when you don't care about that, I don't know. It's it's just different. I don't. Last time I got a, I had to pull up roots. Everyone said, you need to have a sale. You need to sell that. You need to sell this. I'm like, I called my mom. I said, who can I give this to? And she's like, there's some woman up town that is on fixed income, and she has a yard sale. She'd take all that stuff. I'm like, cool, call her. And when I showed up with a whole truck and trailer load of microwaves and just whatever, stereos, she's like, oh. I'm like, just take it, sell it. Buy you a biscuit. I don't care. I'm out. You know. But that's me. And I'm trying to explain me. And I I really love people. But I can't hardly keep anyone in my life. Because I don't know. I guess I'm an asshole maybe. I don't know. But anyway. I believe in God's word. I'm born again. I mess up every day. I have to pray every day. And I want to do this channel to start letting y'all know Jesus is coming back. And it's going to be an angry, ornery, red dawn, fire and hell and brimstone and blood up to horses, bridles and locusts biting you and demons running and fighting and you, you're just not going to believe it. You're going to be overwhelmed. You need to be born again. All right. This is Lariology. I hope I made a little bit of sense. I love you. I'm out.